This is the homework for 168, 169, 170, and 172, A, B, and D. Problem 169A. Lacey and Haley are rewriting expressions in an equivalent, simpler form. Haley simplified x to the third multiplied by x squared and got x to the fifth. Lacey, Lacey simplified x to the third plus x to the second and got the same result. However, their teacher told them that only one simplifi simplification is correct. Who simplified correctly and how do you know? Well, when you are multiplying like terms, the base, the bases are the same, and you add the exponents. When you're adding integer exponents, you cannot add unless they are like terms. And this is x cubed, and this is x squared. So, Haley simplified correctly. You cannot add unlike terms. And here you go. This is x to the third multiplied by x to the second. Three, we have three x's that are multiplying and two x's. And you have x to the fifth. These are unlike terms. They already are, they already simplified. For part P, Haley simplifies 3 to the 5th multiplied by 4 to the 5th and gets the result 12 to the 10th. But Lacey is not sure. Is Haley correct? Be sure to justify your answer. So Haley is incorrect. The bases must be the same. In order to multiply, we have to have like terms. These are not like terms. The bases are not the same. This would be 3 to the 5th powers, 3 multiplied by itself 5 times. This is 4 to the 5th power, 4 multiplied by itself 5 times. We can't combine these together. Ten, 12 to the 10th power would look like this. 12 to the 10th is 12 multiplied by 12. 10 times. For 170, we need to correctly write the numbers in scientific notation. And remember, sci in scientific notation is a way to uh, write very large or very small values in an easier form. So here we have the first factor, a multiplied by the second factor, 10 to the nth power. a, this has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So if you look at this, that meets the criteria. 2 and 56 hundredths is greater than or equal to a, I mean greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, and you have a base of 10 with an exponent. Twenty-five and six tenths multiplied by 10 to the fourth looks like it's in scientific notation, but remember the a term has to be greater than or equal to one. Well, it is greater than or equal to one, but it has to be less than 10. So this is not in scientific notation. Problem 70, A, 62 and 5 tenths multiplied by 10 to the third power. Well, this is not great. This is greater than or equal to one, but not less than 10. So it is not in scientific notation. It should be six and 25 hundredths. So in order to do that, we have to decrease this value by one so we're dividing it by 10 by moving this um, to the left. So if you decrease this by one place value, you have to increase or multiply this by 10. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So if you have to decrease this by 1, so it's minus 1, 
you're increasing the exponent by one. Problem B, six and 57 hundredths multiplied by 1,000. Well, this is not in scientific notation because 1,000 should be 10 to the third power. It needs to be written as an exponent with a base of 10. And a, um, a period, or, I mean, or a dot for multiplication is used instead of um, an x, a multiplication sign. So the proper way of writing this is 6 and 57 hundredths multiplied by 10 to the third power. For C, we have 39 hundredths multiplied by 10 to the ninth. Well, this is actually less than 1. So remember, it has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. So we're going to have to increase this value by 1. So we're actually multiplying this by 10. If we increase this by 1, we have to decrease the exponent by 1. And so we get 3 and 9 tenths multiplied by 10 to the 8th power. And this, the dec decreasing, is dividing. You're dividing it by 10, which decreases the exponent by 1. And this is being multiplied by 10. 72a, you need to solve the equation and then determine how many solutions it has. So... The first thing we want to do is get the variable to the side that has a greater value. There's three x's on the left and a negative x, so we want to get the x's to the left side. So we're going to inverse property of subtraction is addition. We created a zero pair. What you do to one side, you do to the other. 3x plus x is 4x. Still trying to isolate the variable, get x by itself. So we're going to do the inverse of addition, which is subtraction, created a zero pair. What you do to one side, you do to the other. Here we have a dig, dig. You um, dig down one foot, dig down seven feet. Totally, you've dug down eight. So if the signs are the same, you add, the, you add them together. Keep the sign and add. So negative one and negative seven is negative eight. Inverse property multiplication, 4 multiplied by x, is division. Created a giant 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 multiplied by x is x. Negative divided by a positive. And here's Pizza Bob. A neg this only works for multiplication and division. A negative multiplied by a positive is going to be a negative value. So negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. And this has, this has one solution. The only value that would make this equation true is negative 2. 72b. So I want to determine which side has a greater value of x's. Negative 2x on this side. Remember, the sign goes with the term. And there's four on this side. So I'm going to move the x's to the right side. And I do that by inverse property of subtraction is addition. So I'm going to add 2x. It creates a zero pair. Really common mistake is to subtract 2x and not realize that this sign goes with this term. Zero pair, 4x plus 2x is 6x. Now you could subtract um, 4x from this side and bring it to this side, but then negative 4x and negative 2x is negative 6x. Then we have to deal with that negative x value. This way, I'm dealing with a positive x value. Here, I can combine like terms. 1 plus 5 is 6. And now, um, we still don't have x by itself, so inverse property is subtraction, addition, um, negative 3 plus 3, create a zero pair. 6 plus 3 is 9. 
Inverse property multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by 6. Creates the giant 1. 1 multiplied by x is x. And 9 divided by 6 is 1.5 or 1 and a half. So x equals 1 and a half. And this has one solution. The only value that I can plug in to this equation for x and make it true is 1 and a half. 172d, first I'm going to combine like terms. So on the left side, I have a negative 4 and a negative 1. I have more negatives than positives, so I know it's going to be a negative value. And so keep the sign that you have more of, and then you subtract. So 4 minus 1 is 3, so we get a negative 3. On the right side, we can combine the x values. These are like terms. 5x minus 2x is 3x. Now we have 3x minus 3 equals 3x minus 5. We're going to get the x values to one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And you could see that this created a zero pair and this created a zero pair and we end up with negative three equals negative five. Well, that's not a true statement. So there's no solution. There's no value I can put in for x that will make this equation true.